Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rat from Atku Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well uh, Scorpio Rising. Weekly general tarot reading August 30th up until uh, September 5th, 2021. And uh, should you be interested, guys, in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. And uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, uh, leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well um, live streams. So with that being set aside, uh, moving straight away to Scorpio, my lord, uh, we do have the Two of Cups as the start of the week here, uh, followed by the second one, which is going to be the Ten of Wands. Uh, moving next, uh, that will be the Chariot card, okay? So uh, the last one that is going to be the Ace of that will be, oh my god, I'm, oof. I am a Scorpio, quite excited. Uh, it's going to be quite of a week, uh, to be honest. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind when I drew the four cards here, there are going to be four more cards, guys, which are going to be catalysts. It's a, it's a heroic leap, pretty much, into, um, into a thing we did not believe could happen to us, something like this. Um, most likely referring to a love aspect of our lives okay so scorpio if you are uh, single well i guess that's may not that most likely ain't going to be the case from there on moving forward but uh, yeah it's uh it's a strong one okay it's just a heroic leap into a thing we thought we'd never experience in uh in our lives and uh i have uh, I have simply no patience going straight away to scrutinizing the reading. The first one, which is the Two of Cups, is going to be catalyzed with the Three of Swords. Um, we do have a passive neutrals, and actually this is a, a very strong passive neutral in a good way, that is. And it does speak about unity, partnership, and... Uh, no cooperation uh once you once you people be, go go along together okay um and there will be there will be no i am that and you you are this and so on and so forth i don't know how to describe it there will be no it's like uh oh my god why this word is eluding me so much it's basically critic criticism that is the word all right so there will be no criticism out there okay it is just there will be no pride there will be no shyness there will be no criticism it is just it's going to be such an open unity that's uh, in between us as a scorpio i'm saying us and somebody else now as this is a general reading it could refer as well to career which does speaks to such a beautiful cooperation you wouldn't even believe it but i it, it most likely refers to our intimate life and it does speaks about love a big one that is and uh, that's uh, elemental dignity which is a, a neutral one it also speaks about that this is going to be a love that we should not uh, should not be afraid of I don't know how to describe it as well. It's so, so big. It, it, it pretty much does stands for that. Everything we have been afraid of, say, uh, again, being criticized, say, again, being incompatible, you know, say, again, um, repeating the past in a sense of that we have been ghosted, being left alone, and so on and so forth. None of this will be here, okay? It's just... We, we can hold on to these fears, but they are simply not going to have any merit whatsoever. And uh, thus, I can only advise you, I can only advise myself in that count, just to allow ourselves to experience and enjoy what it is coming to us. And like I said, a beautiful unity is, is uh, pretty much coming our way where two people just go together. Now, important thing here to be acknowledged though, it is that it needs to be equal. 
What I mean is that as long as we are to do our part into it, we need to allow the other person to do their part into it as well. Uh, despite if it's going to be about career or, or if it's going to be about relationship. What I mean is that um, should we, for that, that is just an example, you know, should we ask about a um, going out, say, next time we need to allow that person to ask us out, okay? So it, it needs to be balanced. Uh, as two people here, well, actually, this is not the traditional reader way, but in the traditional reader way, two people are extending hands to each other, meeting in the middle. That is exactly what needs to happen. We cannot traverse the path of the other. And uh, right after that, the Ten of Wands takes place, which is going to be catalyzed with the Two of Swords. We do have a uh, active uh, active friends oh my god i'm so excited active friends here and it does speaks to the all of the um, aspects of that cooperation is going to bring to us that under normal circumstances or under previous circumstances because these circumstances right now are normal but if it was under a previous circumstances we would have found it found it uh, stag uh, a stagnation we would have found it a uh, a rigid we would have found it kind of like unhappy so to speak to fit with all of these uh, establishments that the relationship would bring to us like taking under consideration the other person needs you know and making compromises and so on and so forth again none of it here yes there are going to be a lot of things we need to fit into into this relationship slash collaboration but it's it's not going to be any problem of us whatsoever um not because we we are going to be fully compatible with it but because we will have no problem whatsoever to realign okay because at the end the reward for it is going to be exceeding far the what we have to make compromise with and uh, that will bring a peaceful unity and a peaceful relationship to us a, a, a unity and relationship that uh, personally i see it in a in a very positive life light here that's um you know the opinions of each other they they simply are going to be scaled and uh taken under consideration it is like not getting over the head of the other person you know and not being stubborn not being uh, neither of us neither of you guys are being stubborn neither of you being selfish as well here is before you both are deciding what to do forward uh, all of your points of view are going to be taken under consideration and the decision is going to be made so suits the both of you uh, it's just it's something it, it's symbiosis that that is only the way how I can uh, how I can put it and yeah I mean the love is going to be there definitely even if it is about uh, uh, career the love for the cooperation itself is going to be there as well so it's, it will be oh my god it's going to be a lovely week that comes about and uh, right after that the chariot uh, takes place which is going to be catalyzed with the four of swords so we do have these two a passive neutrals it is how these cards stand and as passive neutrals here it's a bit of a broad elemental dignity in that particular case case guys uh, uh first of all it does speaks that it will be a uh, very difficult for us to believe that what is happening it's real but alas we will have to believe it because it is real okay it's it just it's there and uh it will be difficult because it's going to pose some kind of a wish fulfillment that uh, fulfillment that we uh, pretty much stop hoping that is going to be fulfilled like for example okay meeting uh, somebody that you can fall in love with and this is going to have no problems he's not going to carry any problems with it whatsoever right but if that's your situation that you are to fall in love well basically it's not going to carry any problems with it whatsoever and uh, that's why it's going to be very difficult to believe into okay and that is why it's going to be a heroic leap into uh into development for with it uh we will uh, how can i say uh, it's very difficult to describe but uh it's just the unimaginable for us is uh, is going to take place now one thing i want to uh warn you and warn myself as well myself included 
not to rush the things, okay? That will be the worst thing we can do. Uh, don't rush it, especially when it comes to love here. Take your time to uh, recon the soil, so to speak, to recon the, um, uh, the environment, to get to know each other very well before you jump into, uh, into a relationship. Because with these cards, uh, it's, there will be almost no going back from it. And not just only that, but as well, um, it's like there are aspects which you both need to work out with okay and you don't want to do so if you are entirely committed because these aspects are going to pick point a uh, a fulcrums of pressure that is uh, described here by the four of swords which speaks that there are certain inconveniences i can't even mention them that they are problems inconveniences that you gotta talk about for but you are not uh, that close yet close with each other yet to talk about uh, for and therefore you got to give yourself the time to get closer and closer with each other until you have no problem talking about everything that it is out there but regardless we Scorpio are going to be very very proud of ourselves that finally we have endured and waited enough so that beautiful thing comes uh, come our way and uh, the last card it is the ace of pentacles uh, which is my god which is catalyzed with the moon card i mean things i thought things cannot get any better but alas they are so we do have these two a passive friends it is within this elemental dignity and that is the thing guys that is literally the thing uh these uh these two cards are speaking that's um our goal is to be further meaning that um, whatever whichever the case business or relationship the business is going to be very lucrative and the relationship is going to be very harmonious uh, we are going to uh, proceed with it uh, with a uh, extreme uh, sense of content with an extreme sense of joy with an extreme sense of happiness exhilaration ecstasy at some uh, at some places and it will be cast in stone meaning that it's pretty much it's ours and nothing no one can can pretty much take it away from us and um, the beautiful thing is that it was not a coincidence we were meant for it simply as that with these two cards so what i like to say in my live streams and when people are asking me certain specific questions i'm saying that you know we are meant to be happy and to be successful how that depends entirely on us okay so you can be happy with that person or with this person it doesn't matter for as long as you're happy well it seems that we have cast it in stones that we are that happiness and simply we can't get away from it in that specific aspect so that is uh, our um, weekly tarot reading i'm so looking forward to it it's it's unbelievable and um uh, Hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.